beautiful waterfront, outdoor dining, and high-priced real estate. That's probably what comes to mind when you think of Alexandria. But what about the Lloyd House, the Underground Railroad, and the largest slave trade company in the country? Alexandria's deep-rooted history in the slave trade has stayed just below the surface. But a tour with city council member John Taylor Chapman unveils the unpleasant history of this charming colonial city. This is Lloyd House. First built in 1791, it was eventually inhabited by Quaker educator Benjamin Hollowell. Never heard of him? Well, let's just say he was on the right side of history. In fact, in 1827, he joins with a number of other Quakers to form the Alexandria Benevolent Society for the amelioration and improvement of people of color. They write op-eds in the local paper. Uh, they also write a number of signatures to send a petition to Congress uh, asking them to make slavery illegal. Obviously, at that time in 1827, it doesn't work. Uh, we are going to head down Cameron Street. Now, this is a face you definitely know, Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax. But did you know? His great, great, great grandfather, Simon Fairfax, uh, was actually manumitted by uh, Ninth Lord Thomas Fairfax, who uh, lived in this home. Manumitted, past tense of manumit, released from slavery, set free. From 1801 to 1848, Alexandria was part of DC. That's because when we needed a new capital, both Maryland and Virginia were asked to give up some land. During that period, some slaves lived a bit more freely in Alexandria. We usually tell the story about how Justin found out about that information uh, and the fact that uh, the Lieutenant Governor found out on his inauguration day. His father, as Justin likes to tell it, uh, gave him a copy of the manumission uh, that uh, Simon Fairfax had. Just a little farther down Cameron Street is a white house with green shutters that you probably wouldn't have given a second look, but you should because that is where two brothers, Oscar and Joseph Ball, escaped slavery through the Underground Railroad. Uh, Oscar, the older of the two, um, actually uh, after trying to negotiate his freedom with his owner, uh, ends up uh, boarding the Underground Railroad, making it all the way to Oswego, New York. About a year later, his brother Joseph joins him, but their work with the Underground Railroad doesn't stop there. Uh, what he actually does is continues to uh, coordinate and communicate with uh, conductors on the Underground Railroad. And actually about three years later, uh, records show that his wife and kids are with him in Oswego, New York.